learn one of the ways in which we can intercept a REST request to get the buried token and store it in memory for later use. But before I start, you might want to check my website at setsuyatech.com. If you want to help the channel, check my Patreon. And if you have any question about programming, check out my Discord community at setsuyatech. With that said, let's begin. What is a bird token? A bird token is a type of access token that is used with OO 2.0. It is a single string that is passed in the HTTP header commonly used to authenticate a REST API request. You can read the content of a bird token by using this decoder, jwt.io. Let's take a look at our Java classes. This is IntelliJ where I have created Spring Bear Token Project, which is actually a Spring Boot project. This project is committed on GitHub, and the link will be available in the description box of this video. First, let's take a look at the Bear Token Interceptor where we have implemented Handler Interceptor. The Handler Interceptor has three methods that we can override, free handle, post handle, and after completion, but we will only override the free handle. The free handle will be called before any rest endpoint, and here we get the authorization header from the HTTP request and checked if the authorization value starts with bearer. If it does, we get the value. So that is the actual bearer token string. And here, so token wrapper is actually a bin bear token wrapper, which has a field token. We check if it's null and we check if its value is equal to the token that we get from the authorization header. If they are not equal, we assign the token as the new value of the token wrapper. How do we register the bear token interceptor in Spring? We do that by implementing the web MVC configurer. Don't forget the configuration annotation. Here we can see two bins. The first one is the bear token wrapper, which is a request scope, meaning there will only be one instance of this bin throughout the life cycle of the HTTP request. And uh, we use that instance inside the bear token interceptor and this is the class that i have shown earlier and finally we have to override the add interceptors method where we register the bear token interceptor so that spring will know to call the pre-handle method before any other rest endpoint so let's try running this application and test it to run it you can press Control shift d or you can go to the main application or application and click this arrow and debug spring bearer token once it's running you can download and install postman and create a new rest request so here i have a new request get to the url localhost 4880 books which is actually this controller. And in this controller, we can see that I have injected the bear token wrapper and inside the endpoint, I get the value of the token inside the token wrapper. So we should be able to get this value. In your HTTP get request, what you need to set is the token under the authorization tab. Or you can set it into any string if you don't have a token. Here I'm using this value which is actually a token I generated from or using Keycloak. And as I mentioned earlier, we can use JWTIO to decode its value like this. So here we can see that uh, the ID of this user is, yep, uh, this is a bird type of token. It has a session state. This is the realm the role, the scope, and the prepared username. Actually, the values that is encoded in a bear token differs from one authentication server 
to another. Once it's set, we can check our headers. So this is the header that we are getting in the bird token interceptor. Remember, we get the authorization header. So this is this is actually this key authorization and then the value bearer and the value of the token that we have inserted under the authorization tab. Now the request is prepared, we can now send our request to our Spring Boot application. And here we have returned the value of the token wrapper, which is the token that we have used or that we have inserted set in the token field under the authorization header. We can actually put a debug or a breakpoint to see how it works. Here's our request, send the request. So as we can see in our IDE, the pre-handle method that we have overridden in our class bear token interceptor is called first before the get books endpoint. And in the pre-handle method, here we can see that we get the token value from the authorization header and that we set it to the token wrapper and that token wrapper will be injected in our book controller class and uh, that's why we can access the value of the token here so if we if we uh, watch this we can see that the string value eyjh is actually the same as the one that we have set in our postman and that concludes this video with that said if you want to see more videos like this and anything related to programming hit that subscribe button and the bell button and i'll see you guys in the next video